Hello all. Today we will uh, see together how to uh, extract an information from an EBI, EMBL EBI for FOXP2 gene. On the top of the EBI homepage, you find the search bar. We gone about uh, the FOXP2 uh, gene here the, in the search portal, and we gone uh, search for all database in EBI. Here is FOXP2. And uh, then get search for all database. So this is the result page. In the left, uh, it tells you uh, the number of hits. Here is the number of hits uh, gained for FOXP2 in all databases. And the uh, type of resource. Here is the type of resource. And the uh, category of resource. And then in right side, we gain a gene protein uh, summarize. And when we click in the FOXP2 gene uh, under the gene entry, we get back a different section. The first section is the gene information and sequence. So FOXP2 uh, spans uh, these lengths. Its length is uh, about 607,000 uh, base pairs of chromosome 7 from this position to this position. The annotation of this gene is uh, from Ensemble and Havana Manual Curation. So remember, as the previous uh, video, we talked about uh, curation, and we mentioned that some resources are curated and others are non-curated. So in the case of this entry, for the annotation of information of FOXB2, all the information annotation for FOXB2 has actually been manually curated. So Havana is a project that set up the manually curated all uh, genes in human and also cross mouse and some other model organisms. So this is an ongoing process. We actually have human being uh, going to data, ensuring that all the data is correct and the annotation in sequence data for all human gene is very accurate. So you find that uh, for most human gene, there will be Havana curation for that particular gene. Then. We have a link here to show a uh, new gene in Ensemble. Here it is. Uh, briefly, Ensemble is a way of visualizing where a gene is and all information for a particular gene in the genomic context. We also have a variation section. Here is the variation section. And again, if you click in the link, you will show you polymorphism uh, as well as more information about the genotype and some disease associated with, uh, with uh, this FOXP2 gene in Ensemble. So what we see here now is that uh, the ABI uses Ensemble for viewing a lot of information for any gene entries. Within the orthologs section, uh, tells you uh, that there are some orthologs sequence of FOXP2. Uh, again, it is more details. Uh, it is more details in Ensemble than identifies some virologs here. Then the regulation section here, the EBI, in the EBI identify some regulatory elements. And if you li link it out the ensemble, uh, so uh, very similarly, it gives you uh, gene name and description here, yeah, gene name and description, and synonymous and location of this gene. Here is a paralox and uh, orthodox, and here is a transcripts. And here is some alternative uh, transcripts and some information about uh, these transcripts, how long uh, that protein is in code. And later we will come back to Ensemble and figure out how to do an extensive accessing information in Ensemble. But just keep, uh, just for now, keep in mind that EBI relays in Ensemble for viewing a lot of information for particular gene. So accessing more information for FOXB2 and looking for expression. When we get uh, inside expression, here it is the expression. Uh, it will give you an information about where this particular gene is ex expressed in the body and what function is involved in. You can also click in protein. In the protein section, uh, it will tell you about what is known about the protein and uh, then what disease associated with that. We have also information about protein structure here. And again, like NCBI, we have associated literature. 
here is the literature that have been used uh, telling you how data have been annotated on the FOXP2 gene. And uh, thank you for today and goodbye.